Democratic caucus for standing up for her because it's so lame. That's and it's just false her compassion. I, I, That's no, false compassion. really? Why? Yeah. Do you think, you did, would you won. ever notice if Sarah McBride walked into the room? That's not, not the point. You've seen her. That's not the point. But that's not, that's not the point. You, uh, you, what you're doing, and you've got to step back and look. You're talking about a system that changes for a tiny percentage of people. You are asking a lot of people. They have every right to say no. Why didn't she ever say anything before Sarah McBride existed? Why last year when there were Isn't no she trans Because members? she's confronted by the situation <laughs> in yes. Congress. Didn't you learn is not anything afraid from of Sarah the election? McBride. Didn't you learn that the American people don't want this? That the majority of people don't want to be kowtowing to a point zero. 1% of people who want to enter into my bathroom. I don't want a guy who's dressed as a woman, who thinks he's a woman, whether he has his, his thing or not. I don't want him in my bathroom. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to wash my hands near him. I don't want him in there. You know what? Get your own freaking bathroom. Go in she your own unisex bathroom. Go in your own what, what, what? unisex bathroom. She has her own bathroom. Wait all a minute. Wait a minute. All bathroom. members of Congress have their own bathroom. Own but bathroom. you know what? Good for Nancy Mace. Nancy Mace is doubling down and saying on all federal properties. And by the way, people like Seth Moulton, you know, we were giving him so much credit. Why did he wait until after the election to talk about the fact about uh, uh, men in, in girls sports? Why did he wait? Because they don't have the, the chutzpah. Now that they lost, you better learn why you lost. You claim to be so tolerant. You're not tolerant at all. You've got to be tolerant of the majority. And they've got to work their way around the majority. They're not equal to everybody else in terms of Title IX. They're not a specific category. So fight in your own category and go to the bathroom in your own category. You know, Jesse, um, Nancy Mace went further to say that this is about real women and women's rights. The far left, she says, they want to erase women and women's rights. I mean, Jessica, I love you, but you're saying Mace is on an attention tour? Mace? This is the first week of Congress. There's missiles flying into Russia that we made. There's illegal aliens murdering people, and we're talking about this one person in Congress, what bathroom they're going to use. That's because this Macy Mace. woman wants attention, okay? Sarah McBride and his name is Tim. Because I did a deep dive. It was Tim McBride before oh. it was Sarah, art major at American University. Married a man four days later. He died of oral cancer. That's cancer of the mouth. Worked for Human Rights Watch, which is probably the one organization that wants to tear Western civilization down pillar by pillar. You know whose Congresswoman man she is? Joe Biden's. Congrats, Delaware. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, Jesse, lay off Delaware. They have had enough problems for a while. I mean, they had to elect Joe Biden for like 50 straight years, and they had no better option. So lay off Delaware, okay? Delaware might be the first state, but it might also be the state that uh, officially has to wear a dunce cap. So you know what? Be nice to Delaware. They don't really know what they're doing. So we could have a larger conversation about uh, uh, redesigning our states because actually I think that needs to happen in order for us to have a functioning country. But that's a much larger conversation for, uh, for another day. Today, we need to focus on the issue that the left keeps on bringing up because Delaware decided to elect a transgender man, okay? And has apparently had a history of making very interesting decisions. Okay, first off, American University. It's neither American nor university. Uh, let's see, an art major. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you shouldn't go to college to study art. You have the internet. You have your own canvases. Just make art. Okay, don't... <laughs> Don't waste public tax dollars to educate you on how Monet differs from, uh, you know, Johann Sebastian Bach. They're not even in the same category. That's why I'm comparing them. That's because an art major is sort of a ridiculous major. And that actually speaks to the ability of the United States. We can accept all this absurdity until it starts affecting our governing. And now you have forced an issue. And, and this is... And I'm saying you, as in the state of Delaware, you have forced an issue into Congress. Should a man use a woman's bathroom? The answer is no. The answer is just a simple no. For the same reason a man shouldn't compete in women's sports. I've harped on this enough. Even Serena Williams understands that if she were to go up, because she's like the number one tennis player 
in, in women's sports. She is perhaps the number one athlete in women's sports. Same with uh, Simone Biles. Um, there are many great female athletes, but the moment you start putting male athletes in the same spaces, it's not fair. I mean, th there was a comedy made about this a little over a decade ago. This dude was flaming out of the NBA, so he decided to put on a wig and join the WNBA. That used to be a comedy. Now it's almost happening because it's happening in our collegiate sport sports. And I don't like the fact that we have collegiate sports, and it's not because I'm some snooty know-it-all. Uh, it's because I believe in this thing called the minor leagues. Uh, I, I believe that's a thing, but that would get me crucified in the state of Georgia, so I'm not going to say college sports need to be relegated. No, no. What I am saying is that there is a massive issue with uh, transgender men who think that they're women occupying female spaces. That's not fair to women. That's not fair to men. That's not fair to these people who want to change sides. Okay? They deserve their own playing field. I think that is the most fair option available. That's what Judge Jeanine's talking about here. And Jesse, you, you need to stop getting so suggestive on Fox News, buddy. <laughs> okay, people are on to you with this point. And as funny as Jesse Waters can be, there is a sad reality. And that is, we don't really treat people the way they deserve. And that that's a two-edged sword. And Judge Janine is being a little harsh here as well. And no one deserves to be derided to the point where they feel like they don't need to exist. No, no, no. People deserve to exist in their own spaces. People deserve their own spaces. That's why so many trigger liberals are leaving, uh, are leaving Twitter and going to Blue Ski where they are reporting each other in record numbers because they're liberals and they don't know any better. <sighs> there is a balance. And this election wasn't about men entering women's sports. If that's the case, we would have seen a massive red landslide in 2022, back when Leah Thomas was pretending to be a woman and beating out everyone uh, in women's, uh, women's swimming. We would have been talking about this two years ago. But no, I think the mandate of the people has been the illegal immigrant problem is getting worse, the economy is in the toilet, and it's only benefiting rich white liberals. Ironically enough, these rich white liberals are also the ones defending the transgender in sports uh, problems, and they don't know what they're doing either. Be because again, when you're rich, when you're white, when you're liberal, you don't really have to interact with the world. The world just comes to you. And you don't understand what's going on. So, so these people, just simply put, don't understand the realities. They don't understand the inherent unfairness. And also, to end, lay off Delaware. They don't know any better. They were electing Joe Biden. So ultimately, I have to say to that state, bless their hearts. And Fox News, lay off them a little bit. And be careful, because there are transgender people who don't fully have mental illness. They just like cosplaying so much that they make it a full-time thing. And that's something, okay, I'm fine with. As long as you obey certain laws of society, you should exist. It's that simple. So we don't need these histrionics. We don't need uh, men in women's sports. We need a fine line. And that's where the debate should be. Instead of taking it to this extreme of ban everything... No, no. We should start setting some rules. No men and women's sports. We need to start uh, cleaning up uh, collegiate sports. And we need to make sure that we're not over-educating people, particularly art majors, who should be making art and not studying uh, on the taxpayer's dime. That's where we should start talking about. That's where the line is. And that's what I think we need to be really having a discussion on.